Okay, here we go. Oh boy, that was not exactly the best start. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman here, back with another episode of Dream Car Racing 3D. Now, last time on Dream Car Racing 3D, we had built this very deformable bus. Um, it, I, I built this thing j just to deform. If you haven't seen that episode, we put it through all kinds of all kinds of crash tests in the last episode. So go ahead and check that episode out if you haven't. But this episode, I figured what we do is look at a couple of more creations from the community and see what's been going on there. I've already read through some of your comments and I see some interesting ideas for stuff that I can build next. But I figure we kind of uh, mix it up a little bit and look at some community creations first. We've also got some maps as well as vehicles to look at, so we're gonna do a little bit of both. Okay, so I think we're gonna take a look at Realistic Buggy by Tomahawk275. Apparently it's a realistic buggy with accurate damage physics. Well, let's put that to the test. So we've also gonna, we're also gonna be spawning into a dune map. So uh, we'll see how the buggy does on the dunes. So this thing looks pretty cool. It's got some interesting suspension and stuff going on. I'm curious how that steer, is this steering or is this, uh, oh, that's a support. All right, so our steering's up here. All right, so this thing looks pretty cool. Let's test it out. All right, so we're spawned in the new map. The map is called Dunes in the Workshop. So if you guys want this map for yourselves, if you actually have the game, just look up for Dunes in the Workshop. Now, I don't know if I have deformations on, but the suspension on this thing is amazing. Look at that. That is really cool. This thing handles really well, it turns really well, and it doesn't even flip over when I turn it really sharp like that. This really is a, a pretty well-made buggy. Um, that is, I do not know if I actually have deformations on, so let's check it out. Okay, deformations are actually on! Alright, that's impressive. Now I gotta actually... I'm gonna try to actually damage this thing. So it did say it had realistic damage physics, which I guess, I mean, buggies are built for this type of stuff, this like really rough terrain, so it makes sense that it's not just instantly deforming when I uh, go over these big bumps and have those hard landings. Because I've seen some videos of dune buggy races and those things, those things do not go lightly off jumps like this. Man, this thing is just withstanding all of this impact really well. I don't know how I'm gonna do it on these dunes here. Like this map is, this buggy is pretty much built for this map. All right, here we go. We got a sideways thing. Go nope, it's still good. Oh, there we, oh wait, nope. Nope, it's still good. It's still going. Man, every single time I think I've finally hit the ground hard enough, it surprises me again. Oh, wait, is this the one? I mean, we flipped it, but this thing is still pretty much completely intact. All right, I think, I think this buggy passes. It definitely passes the, uh, the dune buggy test. I can't seem to damage it. How about if we run into a wall? I mean, that has to do something to the front end of this, right? Here, let's go into regular mode here and see what happens to the wall. All right, we finally bent the frame. Check it out. There we go, there is some damage. This thing is really impressive. I am impressed. Yep, so Tomahawk275, good job on the buggy. So the Dune buggy map was made by self -Pissed. Um, Interesting name there. The next map we're gonna be looking at is a trials map na uh, made by Casper Clark. And what we're gonna use is this um, Beast Sedan by Garanto93. So we're gonna see what this thing is all about. We got our deformations on. Let's take a quick look here. Whoop. Oh, this thing's got a lot of frames. How many frames does this thing have? 703 frames, wow. This is a detailed build, but I mean, look at, look at the contours. That is really cool. Whoa, <laughs> I just made all the panels invisible and holy crap, there is a lot. There's definitely 700 and something frames in here for sure. I don't even know if all that's really necessary, but it's something. Okay, let's see, uh, we're gonna go ahead and race. 
so this, whoa. This is the Trials map by Casper Clark. So we're gonna go ahead and test this car out. It drives pretty well so far. It's got a nice drifting action going on there. So let's see what this map has to offer. This looks like a pretty big map. So we got a bowl there, which is kind of cool. What is this thing? I don't know if this is a runway or a jump. All right, looks like we get a flat top up here. I don't know, are we supposed to go off the end of it? Maybe we're just supposed to use it as a way to get a bunch of speed. All right, we're gonna go ahead and zoom down here and see what else is in this map. Looks like we got some stuff over there and a little bit of like a race course or something. All right, this thing's doing well so far. It's shaking a little bit, almost like there's no deformations on. Ooh, what are these things? Let's go ahead and take these off. Oh, we damaged our front end just a little bit. Now we're gonna hit the ground. All right, this thing's pretty sturdy. This thing's pretty sturdy. The wheels didn't survive too well, but it's still kind of drivable. <laughs> it looks a little weird. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and crack. Oh no, now we're starting to get into like a hovercraft. I don't know if we can get much speed like this, but we're still going. We still got this. Yep, it's definitely... It actually seems to crash pretty realistically. Oh. This thing actually has a handbrake. I, I don't think I've actually used a handbrake in this game before. I think you actually have to manually put it in, but check that out. The back wheels just lock up. Oh wait, there's lights? I think the lights were actually a brand new addition to this game, so that's kind of cool. All right, we're gonna go into one of these pillars now and see what happens. All right, yeah, this thing crashes like a pretty realistically. It doesn't just completely flatten itself out like uh, like the bus I built, but I built that intentionally to do that. All right, let's see what these things are. <laughs> Not for this car, that's what these things are. So this ends a little bit, a little bit more calm. So let's go ahead and start over here and we'll work our way through it and see if we can get around, get to the end. All right, here we go. Oh, we were doing way better there for a second than I thought we were uh, going to, but our wheel seems to have taken a little bit of damage, but it still tries to turn, so that's something. Yep, that's weird. Um, one of the things that's been added is you can now zoom into the map, which is a really nice feature. Hey, our car is actually on the map too. Uh, so this is something that's been just added to the game, which I really do enjoy. All right, we've loaded the new map and we're going to load in WOW by McGough Tyler Ethan. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that right, but uh, WOW. What are these things for? This thing looks pretty cool. Looks like some old fashioned, like, drag racer almost. Let's check out the new map. This map is Snow Mountain, also by Caspar Clark. Wow, that is a big mountain. Uh, we are in the middle of nowhere. Let's go ahead and just check out how this vehicle works. This thing... <laughs> uh, it's quite the bouncy car. It's definitely got suspension. What's with the back tire? It's like a... Oh. Definitely flips pretty easy. It's got a lot of uh, very, very wobbly suspension. And the back tire kind of like acts like a tail. Uh, it seems like the... Oh. Okay then. It seems like the wheel power needs to be adjusted a little bit because if I start going too fast straight, uh, I can't maintain a straight trajectory. It starts to turn me, which I think means that the back wheels are a little bit too powerful. Like right now I'm gonna try to straighten out and yeah, I just can't do it. All right, so let's take this thing to the top of Snow Mountain. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, that was not exactly the best start. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. I want to take my bus off this thing. Alrighty then. Uh, well, we didn't quite survive that, but let's go ahead and drive the rest of the way down and just see what else happens to this car. I'm liking the just the sheer cliffs just to fall and tumble down. This is a, oh boy. 
Oh, okay. All right, I have to take my bus on this thing. All right, respawn on top of the mountain. Uh, uh, uh oh. We oh boy, we're about to roll. We are about to roll. Nope, we're going to slide. Yeah, we're going to slide off the cliff. I feel like a penguin sliding down an iceberg. And this is Snow Mountain after all. Oh, that that was a hefty a hefty crash there. Yeah, that's a lot of red. That is a lot of red. All right, this time we're doing a car from the workshop called Truck by DNS. Uh, I think DNS is also the person that made the pickup truck that we showed in one of my first episodes. So go ahead and check out that that episode. Uh, I'll show a pop-up right now for that if you have not seen that. But th the pickup truck was really realistic looking, and it looks like this one is just as... Actually, if not more realistic looking. This thing looks really nice. Wow. Is the engine inside there and everything? Here, let's hide the frames. Yep, we got the engine inside there and everything. That is awesome. Got the suspension on all the wheels. We got a six-wheel truck. All right, and we are on a new map as well called Frozen Lake by Casper Clark again. Well, I can see why they call it Frozen Lake. Because there is very little friction on this thing. Look at this. You know what you have to do here is you have to spawn way outside of the lake. That way you can get some speed and then slide across it. Okay, here we go. And see how this goes. Whoa, okay. And I'm gonna turn at the s- uh oh. Well, we've uh, we flipped over. I didn't mean to flip over. Now we have zero control on this thing. But yeah, look at this. There is so little friction on here. I feel like there's even less friction than ice. Can we make it all the way across? Are we actually gonna make it all the way across the lake? I'd be impressed if we can make it all the way across the lake. I think we might do it. I mean, we're slowing down a little bit, but I think, oh, if we can hit it at just the right angle, we might be able to flip back up onto our wheels. Come on, just a little bit more. Hit it, hit it, flip, flip. Oh, well, we made it across the lake, but we did not flip back up onto our wheels, unfortunately. All right, so I'm not really sure if there's much of a point to the frozen lake other than just sliding around. I don't know if you can build cars that are built for a frozen lake in particular. I don't know what would make a car more suitable for a frozen lake other than different types of tires, which uh, I don't think the game has right now. But it's a fun little thing to experiment on. Now I want to actually take this truck through some crash tests. So we're going to spawn into the crash test site, because where else would you want to crash test a truck? Okay, deformations are on. And... We're gonna take this... into a series of pillars and see if this thing deforms at all. I mean, it drives really well. Alright, here we go. Top down's always good for these things. Oh, okay. This thing's pretty sturdy. I like how the window kind of just caved in there. My guy's okay though, he's okay. Yeah, look, he he's even touched. He wasn't even touched by the frame. Well, I mean, his hands went through the windshield, so his arms are probably broken, but other than that, I think he's okay. Okay, we're at the top of the ramp. We're gonna take this thing off and see what it's like in slow motion now. Here we go. Slowing it down. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? That was kind of weird. It looked like I went through it for a little bit. But we have some pretty nice deformations. I'm going to do that again because that didn't seem to act the way I thought it was going to. All right, this time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do what I did with the bus last time and land directly on the back of the, uh, the, the container here. We go really, really slow. Oh, we went way too, way too slow, actually. We did a double flip. All right, here we go. Let's see what it does. Okay, I don't think we're okay this time. I, I think our head went through the roof and a little bit through the windshield. We probably would not have survived that. So good job with that DNS. Let's check out something a little bit different. Okay, so the next map we're looking at is called Escape the Pit by uh, also by Casper Clark. He's been creating a lot of maps in this game apparently. And we're gonna try, since it seems like we have to do some climbing out of a pit, 
I'm sp I've spotted the White Knight by Mr. Derp. It says the white the the white is a hill climb vehicle for noobs. That's me. It has very good shocks, and if the gets stuck on a hill, turn on diff lock, which I think is the shift button. And this thing looks like it's pretty capable, so let's give it a try. Wow. Okay. I can. S this is a bit steeper of a pit than I expected, so we're gonna put this uh, hill climb vehicle to the test. All right. Here goes nothing. Um, wow, okay. If we get stuck, use the diff lock. So the diff lock is now on. Let's see if this helps us at all. This is extremely steep. But you know what? I think I thought of a strategy. Going straight probably isn't the best idea. We're probably gonna have to use some centripetal force here and go in a bit of a circle around this thing. So I think hill climbing might not actually be the best thing for this. You probably need speed over hill climbing. Okay, wow, I can't, I can't keep myself straight. All right, this thing is not an easy challenge. All right, come on. Yeah, we cannot get enough speed really to get up this thing. All right, we're getting a little bit more. I think we're getting a little higher. Now I think if we get some more speed by going down a little bit, we can get up a little bit more. Yeah, I think we're getting it. I think we're getting the strategy. We gotta kinda go in like a uh, parabola shape. Where we go down and then up in like a curve and we can gain momentum in between each one. But honestly, it gets really wide up there so I'm not sure how much higher we can get. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, we- I, how do we get all the way up there? And I'm trying, but I can't get much more speed than this. Alright, alright. I don't, I don't think- I don't think we got this. You know what? I've got just the vehicle for this. Yes, now we can get out of this. We can do the challenge, no problem with this thing. <laughs> okay, I gotta be honest, I did it. I, that went better than expected. I was not expecting to get very far at all, but it got somewhere, kind of. And now its wheel is done. Alright, we're gonna try this, um, this monster truck looking thing by Holston J1. This thing looks pretty cool, it even has a paint job on it, which is kinda... awesome. And that engine section in the middle looks really cool, too. It's even got wheel wells in the trunk, even though... But yeah, they are doing something. They are actually... Man, this thing looks really cool. This is a monster truck. All right, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Let's see how this thing drives. See if it can tackle the pit. Let's go ahead and drive it around just a little bit to get used to it, check out the suspension. Whoa, that is a lot of suspension. Then again, I guess monster trucks have a lot of suspension too. Yeah, the wheel wells are actually, actually being used to uh, cover the wheels there when it turns, look at that. They almost come in contact with the wheels. All right, here we go. We're, go. we're gonna escape the pit. We're escaping the pit. Come on, come on. Holy crap, this thing is going really far. Wow, I was not expecting it to do that well. I think if we get enough momentum, I think we can do this. If we use our speed strategy by going up and down like a bit of a half pipe, we might be able to do this. All right, here we go. This thing has so much speed, come on. Come on, escape the pit. All right, we have to go back down. We're going back down, like a half pipe. Yes, come on. We got so much more speed now, we can do this. All right, we're gonna go around in the circle. See if we can maintain it. Oh no, we're falling, we're falling. All right, go back down just a little bit. Gravity is pulling this thing. Oh, this is like the closest thing we've had yet. Come on, come on, so close! Oh, man. Oh, and we're flipping. We are flipping down the pit. What kind of car is gonna be able to tackle this thing? All right, let's go for speed. Race car suspension. Four wheel independent suspension with front and back sway by Hackle 1995. All right, see if this thing has, has the speed for it. All right. We have a start. Now the question is, will we have a finish? 
Come on, come on, come on. It's, it's got speed. It's got speed for sure. All right, let's see if we can get some more speed going back down and get back up the other side. Oh, man. It looks like we're going to make it, but we just slow down so fast. Come on. Maintain the speed. Get back down there. Oh, we are so close. We're almost near the lip where it starts to get up. Come on. We are so close. If we don't make it... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Out of all the cars to do it, this thing does it. That is amazing. I mean, I think that's halfway about, like, the, the build of the car and the strategy of how you use it. Because just a straight up climb, this thing would not have accomplished it, but this car actually did it. I am very, very surprised. So that was pretty cool. Good job on this car. We're gonna get we're gonna get a bit of a running jump and dive into the pit as our grand finale. I think we're gonna call the episode here, and we're gonna end it off with a big dive into the pit. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button because that really helps out a lot. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss some more awesome content like this. And leave some suggestions because I think the next video is going to be a build video. Woohoo! So leave some suggestions for what you want to see next. Oh, I wish I had deformations on. I don't think I do though. Boom! Alright. That was a great dive into the pit there. This has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Some of the rules in this book. I thought this was kind of funny. Rule number one. Never hit a prisoner over the head with your pistol. Because you may afterwards want to use your weapon and find it disabled. Now I thought that was hilarious because it starts off...